Hi, my name is John Mavridis, and today we will be discussing GoPro and their marketing strategies. GoPro was founded by Nick Woodman in 2002 in California, USA. They specialize in action cameras, action camera accessories, as well as they have their own video editing software services. In order to understand the GoPro's marketing strategy, we will cover three marketing concept concepts, the marketing environment, segmentation, targeting, and positioning, as well as the marketing mix. The first concept I will discuss is the marketing environment. To better understand the marketing environment, I will utilize the SWOT analysis. The goal of the SWOT analysis is to match the company's strengths to attractive opportunities in the environment while eliminating or overcoming the weaknesses and minimizing the threats, said by Armstrong et al. Strengths and weaknesses are internal, while the opportunities and threats are external. Looking at GoPro SWOT analysis, first we will look at the strengths. GoPro is currently the leader of the action camera market with more than 3 million cameras shipped worldwide. They have a strong brand awareness as well as a brand reputation, and they are also considered the go-to action camera for consumer to purchase. The company is spending hundreds of millions of dollars a year on sales and marketing to increase its share of the overall market. At the same time, they are heavily invested in research and development. They are most successful in the US, but they also have a lot of success worldwide. They have large business operations in, in Asia Pacific, as well as the EMEA Pacific regions. Newer editions of its Hero Action Camera is being released, which includes HD imaging, wireless internet access, image sensors, and increased internal memory. They've released accessories such as the chest harness, head straps, helmet mounts, and handlebars. And they have their own software for editing and filming, such as the GoPro Studio and the GoPro app. Next, I will look at GoPro's weaknesses. GoPro has lost a lot of money on trying to become a media company between the years of 2014 and 2016. This is where they hired senior executives from Hulu, Skype, and HBO to make this happen, but it did not pay off and resulted in massive layoffs and a loss in their financial reports. They also have had poor strategy in spending on millions on Super Bowl ads, uh, sales intended from this were not reached and they lost millions of dollars as well. Along with this, the high price of GoPro could not compete with the newer, cheaper models of Sony, Yi, who offer capabilities similar to GoPro. P poor strategy in determining the price of the camera models also had a negative impact by reducing the price of the models in half from $400 to $200. This resulted in millions of dollars in write downs. Poor product release on its drone. The drone did not fly well and this created a bad brand reputation for the company. Along with slow response to customer demands where there was a long wait between past releases during the US festive season, such as Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Christmas, and New Year's. Uh, and this is a, was an ideal time where customers were looking to upgrade. And lastly, there's a slow response to customer demands for an easier use of the GoPro app regarding transfer and editing tools. Now we look at the opportunities. The action camera market is growing at a cost of annual growth rate of 5.2% between the next seven years. The global action camera market is forecast to be worth $4.4 billion by 2030. Along with this, integration of the digital world appears to be a consistent trend in the current and future states of the world. As well, the Russian-Ukraine war has created opportunities for the internet, such as YouTuber influencers who film and express themselves on the matter. One very popular YouTube channel named Yes Theory, with almost 8 million subscribers, went to Ukraine to view out the footage. Utilizing the GoPro footage of, help, of them helping people is, helps promote the GoPro brand as well as their products. And for the last part of SWOT analysis, we will look at GoPro's threats. A major threat is high competition in the market with major competitors such as Garmin and Sony having steady and increasing worldwide revenue. The global pandemic also forced people to stay indoors. GoPro's cameras, although possible for indoor filming, are specifically created for outdoor activities. Traveling and world tourism was also put at a stop during the global pandemic. There was less opportunity for people to utilize or purchase a GoPro product during this time. Now to the next marketing concept, segmentation, targeting, and positioning. To better understand this concept, we will look at the STP process. Going further into this process, 
To design a winning marketing strategy, the company must first decide who it will serve. It does this by dividing the market into segments of customers, which is the marketing segmentation, and selecting which segments it will cultivate, target marketing. Next, the company must decide how it will serve the targeted customers, which is how it will differentiate and position itself in the marketplace. This is all derived from Armstrong et al. Now we will look at GoPro's STP process. As you can see, for market segmentation, they are looking for young people between the ages of 18 and 35, who have active and sporty lifestyles, and also people who enjoy filming and traveling. For the target market, they prefer professional or leader athletes between the ages of 18 and 35, Travels are photographers between the age of 18 and 35, and who are also male and female. For the last part, we'll look at brand and product positioning. Now we'll look at brand and product positioning. As you, see, as you can see based off these photos here, GoPro's ads include very exciting and thrilling footage from extreme sports athletes, such as dirt biking, skydiving, snowboarding, cliff jumping, or even being shot of a cannon, and more. They utilize user-generated content to promote movement rather than just a brand. Now looking at GoPro's marketing strategy through brand and product positioning. GoPro utilizes its customer's content as a way to market its products. User-generated content allows for GoPro to use its customer's own footage to market its cameras, accessories, and more by having them be tagged to the photo or video. This creates great customer engagement, but also makes it easy for GoPro to show how people like their products also bringing more engagement and new customers. Being so prevalent on social media such as Instagram and the like allows for GoPro to have easy communication with its target market of young people between the ages of 18 and 35 years old. Gathering amazing shots from professional photographers or professional athletes and influencers allows for GoPro to always have quality content available for its social media pages. And lastly, utilizing hashtags very well, GoPro can create a sense of community amongst its customers that GoPro is more than just a brand, it is actually a movement. Examples of, this, of these hashtags include hashtag GoPro family and hashtag GoPro arm. We will look at the marketing mix. This is made up of the four Ps. First is product. This means the goods and services and combinations the company offers to the target market. Next is price. It's the amount of money customers must pay to obtain the product. Then place. This includes the company activities that make the product available to target consumers. And lastly, promotion. This refers to activities that communicate the merits of the product and persuade target customers to buy it. This is intended to help capture the target market and carry out the intended customer value. Looking at GoPro's marketing mix, first we look at product. They offer action cameras, camera accessories, apps, and lifestyle gear. For example, although this is not a GoPro product, they have products like eyewear in which there's a camera involved. Next, we have price. Action cameras range from around 350 to 700 pounds. This depends, of course, on the quality, their capabilities, and the purpose of the camera. Along with this, they have apps that are free to download, but also have features on these apps that must be purchased for either $1.99 a month or $9.99 a month. Now looking at place, GoPro has four distribution channels. A direct channel, distribution channel, GoPro.com, and retail. Based off the, the chart, we can see that after 2017, GoPro's main distribution channels were either from their GoPro.com or from retail. Going to promotion, GoPro utilizes social media very well through Instagram, hashtag GoPro. They have extremely high number of followers, almost 20 million. They utilize user-generated content and they promote a movement. As we talked about earlier, hashtag GoPro Army and hashtag GoPro Family. They also utilize ads on YouTube and Facebook very well. And lastly, they have extremely entertaining uh, content with exciting advertisements as well. So that is it for today's marketing vlog on GoPro. I'm out. I'm about to go jump off a plane. GoPro, go be a hero.